Hey guys, it's Charlie Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. So today it's another one of my, well, digital paintings, but um, it's a holiday celebration-esque one, though it doesn't really follow the theme of the holiday I'm celebrating. So Christmas just finished a few days ago, and I did upload the speed paint in celebration of that on a Wednesday, and this one is the one in celebration for the new year. So I decided to go with the theme of a draw it again to see the progress throughout the years. And for this particular piece, I did a rendition of this once already before. So the original piece was done in 2009, and then the draw it again version 1 was done in 2013, and now the second version is 2016. And from the 2013 version, it's a minor update in a sense. But you can see that a lot of things have changed with how I do the lines, with how I do the poses, tension, composition, um, coloring, um, things. So you can still tell that I was the one who did it from three years ago, but you could see, or personally I could see a lot of improvements and I'm really happy about that because my Two year fine arts degree did something <laughs> at least. So that's thing number one. Thing number two is that I'm really sorry that it's late. Uh, I did say in my Christmas video that it was supposed to be on a Wednesday. It's currently 12.03 a.m. and I'm still recording. I haven't even I haven't even added in the music yet. And then I have to export for two hours maybe. This is the 15 no, rather 16 minute video. Oh, I'm sorry. I had some issues with time management, I guess. Because I was live streaming this entire thing up until past lunch this a while ago. Well, I guess yesterday. Since it's 12 o'clock. But um, aside from me not finishing it on time, I had some troubles with the video and Premiere not accepting the video and I had to convert it into a different file type and all that jazz and that took up a lot of time and yeah so it's kinda late and then I'm also kinda sorry that it's 16 minutes long so I've been trying to do something a few things with my art lately and video editing process the first one being I've been trying to be to be a bit more deliberate and a bit more detailed with my works, I'm trying to put attention into the little things and like keep in mind things like composition, colors, and the like. So I guess that's why my live streams or my speed paints have been getting longer. Another thing with the video editing is that I notice that my digital speed paints tend to go by really, really, really quickly, and I mean it's like it's flying over the place and you can't really make heads or tails of what's going on so i tried to slow it down a bit make it more easier to follow less dizzying so that's why it's been getting longer even though i've been trimming out some more items like some more stuff with sketching some stuff with the magic wand tool uh, i'm only focusing things on some sketches and maybe a good part of the line art in the coloring but I've been cutting things out that were unnecessary, but it still ended up being 16 minutes in the end. So I'll try to keep on working on that. Maybe I'll get faster with drawing someday and I won't need to deal with huge amounts of footage. So we'll see where, 27 take, where 2017 takes me. Okay, what do I need to talk about? I think that's all for minor housekeeping, I guess. Okay. So for the characters in the video, they've been my original characters since who knows when. Um, I remember the girl, Silver, this girl, has always been sort of my avatar in a sense. I've used her for Pokemon OCs, like she was the trainer that I would use. And I've also used her in some other spin-off roleplays in Gaia Online and Neopets. Um, so I can't really keep track or remember all of her renditions, but currently she is a dragon rider. 
which is based off the Aragon thing I was into for such a long time. She is a elf, even though it's not really obvious in this picture because I drew her ears like a normal person's ears. She's a knight that teaches magic. Yes, that's that's it. So I've had her since who knows when and she's pretty much my oldest OC if I think about it. Definitely. And even in like MMOs, I she's the one that I use. Or rather, I would pattern the character, or the character created after her. So I would always, almost always, use a black hair gain eye combo with short hair, and ideally, dark blue or gain color scheme. And I don't know why I tend to default to her character design. So the guy which you will see later, I believe you saw him as a sketch earlier. Hmm. Well, the thing, which is the guy's name, is also supposed to be an elf. He's also supposed to be a knight and a dragon rider. But in some older renditions, he was a brother to Silver. But the current rendition is that he's a long distance, or not really. He's a sort of a cousin. Uh, it's not really clear, since I haven't really used him in a long while. But I do use his name in some online games and forums and stuff like that. So, their particular rendition in terms of the outfits is not very different from the one that I did in 2013 because I did do a redesign of them in like past two years ago and I only upgraded things like things that are not really logical for an outfit. So for Silver, since we're doing her right now, I changed her sleeve even though I kept one of them. I changed her pants in a way, the color of her shoes, some belts, how her shirt, her inner black shirt worked, and the coat a bit. So they're very minor details but I feel like they make more sense than the design I did three years ago. The sword, and the, on the other hand, um, I recently remade the vectors I did for the sword, so um, I just kind of pasted it into the video. <sighs> I'm kind of lazy to draw weapons right now. And it looked kind of I did adjust the color, the hue, the saturation to make it look like it was really part of the piece. <laughs> but imagine the first piece that I did, um, the first edition that I did in 2009. I was, mm, yeah, I remember I did this piece because I wanted to upload it to DeviantArt and I was using Adobe Photoshop 7 and <laughs> like I really had a good amount of bad choices in that particular piece. Um, the use of texture, using the mouse as my liner tool, many, many bad decisions. I was 15 when I made that. So I guess you can guess my age, I'm not really hiding it. So I was 15 when I made that. It was one of the first few pieces I uploaded to DeviantArt. I was super proud because like, yeah, I used textures for the background and like, yeah, uh, I completely covered the piece and made it not obvious that I drew it on paper first and then just colored over the paper, but <laughs> I was pretty proud. <laughs> When you look back at it now, it's sort of like, girl, you had a ton of problems. In the 2013 rendition, um, I was 19, I think. No, I was 19 originally. I was 18. Yeah, I was 18 when I did it. Is that right? Yeah, because I graduated college in 19, that's 2014. I graduated just on 2013, so I was 18 when I made the first plot again, which is like a leaps and bounds better than the 2009 one. And it, if it hadn't been, that would been that would been really sad. If me from 2009 is not that much different from me of two twenty of 2013. 
So I guess it was good. It was leaps and bounds better. I had some idea of composition, some idea of perspective, a lot better idea on line art and coloring. By the time I already got my tablet, so I was using. I was already pretty familiar with it because I got my tablet 2012, I think. Either 2011 or 2012. So I had a good two to three years to get used to it. So the only thing that could have been improved in my 2013 one was the way I used colors and how I colored and shadows and hues and lighting. I didn't use or did I? I sort of did. I I made I used minimally highlights but not really I did not give a shit about backgrounds. So I guess that would explain it. You'll see it in the, at the end of the video. Um the progression of the pictures that I'm mentioning. So please stick around to see that. Um Right, so those are the things I needed to improve. And when I put the 2016 one, this one we're working on right now, beside it, I was happy to see that I did improve in those as aspects, even though personally I could use a lot more work with some things, but it was really a step up, anatomy-wise, coloring-wise, composition-wise, especially composition. I really... It really updated quite a bit. Backgrounds, I sorta give a shit now. <laughs> no, I do give a shit about backgrounds now. And I've learned... Cause the reason I disliked backgrounds in the past is because it tended to take away the attention from the characters, and I wanted to focus on the characters, obviously. But the background was always so sharp and detailed that, aside from being a real pain to work on, it tended to not be a background. It, it became the focus for some reason. And I learned somehow how to tone that down a bit, make it more like act with this, which is a background. So that's great. I, I've solved some of my issues that I've been battling with for a few years in terms of my art. And I'm sorry, my chair is squeaky. I should have. Well, sorry. Either way. I mentioned this in one of my videos, I think it, it was the Winter Songs Just one, but speaking for 16 minutes is really hard. My throat is parched, and I have no form of liquid to drink in this room right now. <sighs> Stay strong, I guess. So another thing I did do from the 2013 version is that I toned down the colors. Something I did notice was that the colors from three years ago that I did tended to be very bright and shiny and it didn't provide a lot of contrast from each other so it was like super bright and you'd think that they're always in sunlight or like they had a really strong um, white light shining on them which is not supposed to be given that I made the background a sort of violet -y dark color so I had that problem um, in terms of cohesion so that's what, I, that's what I tried to fix now I kept in mind what tone I was using for the shadows for example um, with the blue or right, that's a piece of blue with silver green I chose um, a hue closer to blue and that I kept that up throughout the entire piece I was using bluish tones Except for the gold parts, but I was using bluish tones on almost everything. So it was mostly cool, so it turned out to be it turned out to be very cool. It had more contrast. It was a bit more or rather less. It was a bit less saturated than the one from 2013. And that's great, because that means I learned something. Which I didn't really notice until now that I've already been doing. Because in my mind, I was still thinking that I don't know how to use saturation, I don't know how to use hue, I don't know how to do contrast, oh jeez. But apparently, I did learn some way, somehow, somewhere along the way, I did learn how to do it. So that's great, I think. 
this is turning out to be like pace yourself video <laughs> anyway so we're doing the background now we just done sloppily by because i was getting bored and also intentionally and we're nearing the end of the video so i hope you guys enjoyed we'll be seeing the preview in a few seconds and i'll talk about some other stuff there Okay, so this is the preview for the entire piece. So you have to scroll through. And this is the joint again. So 2009, 2013, and 2016. <laughs> so please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt. Like and subscribe to my channel. I do fan art and speed paints. And I'll see you around.